Now, we come to the point where you are presenting your evidence in court. Um, and there are all kinds of ramifications here. Uh, the evidence is intended to support the, the case, the, the story, um, the tale you want to tell, uh, what you assert happened, or your side anyways, uh, asserts has happened, and why uh, the other side in the case uh, should not be believed or um, that, that you are proving what they did. Um, once again, uh, an awful lot of this information is business records uh, and digital business records at that. Um, and again, you know, the hearsay factor comes in here. So the there has to be background support um, for your story. Uh, you cannot expect uh, the, the court to automatically understand why this pattern of ones and zeros means what you says it means. Um, and that it is reliable in supporting that contention. So, uh, you know, you, you have to be careful with these things. You have to support uh, what you're doing. Um, now, there, okay, we, we come to uh, witnesses of fact and expert witnesses. Um, an awful lot of the time, most of the time, what you are doing in terms of uh, presenting evidence is as a witness of fact. You are, you are presenting these facts. Um, this, uh, uh, very often, I mean, you know, most of the time when I was doing, uh, patent troll cases, I was not called into court. I was providing the evidence, um, and it was other people who were uh, explaining to the court why what I was providing as evidence uh, meant that uh, this, you know, patent never should have been issued in the first place for the most part. But, you know, what, whatever the, the contention was. Um, a witness of fact is just stating the facts. Uh, this is what we saw. This is what we recorded. This is uh, how we did it. This is our procedures, uh, and our procedures are there to ensure that uh, the information is reliable and authentic, um, and this is why you can trust it, um, and, uh, you know, it, it is... You know, reasonable doubt doesn't come into it. Uh, you know, there there is no doubt uh, that this is good data. Whatever. That's what you can say. Um, but uh, to explain, and very often, of course, you know, we're dealing with technical issues, and we have to explain to the court why these facts mean what we assert in terms of what the other side ostensibly did or did not do or whatever it was. Um, that is the job of the expert witness. Uh, now, even, uh, I, again, you know, expert witness uh, is something that's common in common law, uh, but it uh, may or may not happen. It, you may have more latitude in other civil law uh, legal systems um, or, uh, you know, expert witnesses just simply aren't allowed. Uh, plus, it depends. Um, and even in common law systems, how you get regarded as 
an expert witness is going to vary. A um, friend of mine, um, very knowledgeable uh, in forensics, um, really interesting guy, uh, works for the police. And so in, in the UK, and in the UK, in the UK uh, system, um, that automatically assumes that there is a bias. And so he is not allowed to be an expert witness. Even, you know, his expertise doesn't matter. His years of experience don't matter. His years of study don't matter. There is a presumption of bias in the UK system. In the, the US, um, as I alluded to, I think, in one of the previous stories, um, the, uh, if you have the training, and, and this is decided by the judge, um, the individual judge in the individual case, um, if you have the training, if you have the uh, background, the experience, uh, then you are considered an expert, and then you can present an opinion. And this is the difference between a witness of fact and an expert witness. An expert witness can give an opinion. And Canada, as usual, is sort of slightly in the middle. Uh, there isn't this automatic uh, disregard of somebody because of a presumption of bias. But um, there, you know, the uh, possibility of bias uh, gets taken into account. And you may be... Uh, you know, bounced uh, or not accepted as an, an expert witness in Canada because of uh, that sort of thing. Okay, um, so uh, expert witnesses and then into forensics. And oh, yeah, we got all kinds of issues to deal with here.